Hello there, my name is Brock Schauber. I am going to be going into my third year uh, of pharmacy school at Idaho State University. And on today's um, topic of Med Expert Monday, I wanted to kind of switch gears a little bit and talk about a certain field of profession in the career of pharmacy um, that is very interested me and I'm very passionate about. It is the uh, nuclear pharmacy. You know, a lot of people are asking, well, what is nuclear pharmacy? Um, nuclear pharmacy is where um, they kind of make the drug on a low-grade radioactive scale, and they combine it with the drug, and then they take it to the hospital, and then they can inject it in an IV line, and then they can do an MRI or an X-ray, and that drug goes to that particular spot in the body that they designed, and then um, after that, it goes to... Um, they can actually see like hairline fractures of bones um, was a very common one that I've seen. Um, they can do a, a, a better picture of the heart and how the heart is working for a patient. Um, but the one that interests me the most, and it was very interesting, is very rare, is that they can do your entire artery um, vein blood system. Um, and it shows up in the MRI. And if you have like a clot in your leg or anything like that, the blood stops right there. And so they can actually pinpoint clots um, for it. I found this very interesting. I've, I've loved to learn more about this type of uh, thing in this field. Um, and it just interests me to, to no end. Um, I have shadowed um, a nuclear pharmacist. And um, even though the hours are grueling from like three in the morning to about 11, um, they can be, it can be very rewarding and as well as um, very cool. The science behind it is just so interesting to me that they, we can do things like this with this type of technology. Um, one of the main things also that caught my attention was that um, I was always like, why, why do they wake up so early? Why three in the morning? Well, um, when you're dealing with uh, radioactive kind of isotopes um, in any respective career, uh, you have to deal with a half-life of many drugs as well as, you know, as the nuclear co uh, component of it as well. Um, to me, that explained the answer um, mostly for why they get up at 3 in the morning because some of the, the things that they do, um, half-life is very, very short and they have to get them to hospitals, um, especially like hospitals that are very, very far away. Uh, the nuclear pharmacist that I shadowed, um, told us that his furthest deliveries sometimes goes to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and their delivery driver has to leave um, the pharmacy at like 4 or 4.30 just to make it in time for that um, drug to have its full effect. Um, very interesting. Um, it's a two-year program uh, for educational-wise, um, <clears throat> and you can either do it through Purdue University, where they do They'll send you DVDs and then you learn more about um, how to do it, what's it about, all the terminology and things like that. And then you go to Purdue for a week and you do um, hands-on learning and you learn how to drop um, these medications in syringes. So it's kind of like compounding a little bit. Um, there's also another one online for New Mexico University and they do a two-year online course as well as like kind of Purdue. Um, and that one, you don't go and do drops. You kind of um, show yourself, you get the material sent to you, and then you show um, them online that you can drop these medications as well. Um, I This is what definitely drew me to the field of pharmacy. Um, I was super interested, when I, especially when I went and shadowed um, the nuclear pharmacist. Um, everything that he was talking about, I felt like was very interesting and very... Um, you know, pretty much straight, <clears throat> excuse me, straightforward um, with how it is, what is it for. Um, but a lot of it has to be fantastic with, you know, helping those patients out because a lot of, sometimes you get that rare case of a patient that's been to every single specialist or doctor and they've exhausted all their options. And then this is kind of one of those things where they can try it and then they can actually kind of to help the doctors see with the patients um, what can be actually going wrong um, with m multiple ways of finding um, different aspects of you know their disease state it's just very interesting um, all around um, and showing that 
uh, you know, pharmacy isn't just counting pills or anything like that. There's so much more out there. Um, and this is my um, opinion, but I really enjoyed this subject. I really enjoy learning about it, especially learning out how to get the education. Um, from that, I would say that I'm more of a hands-on person, so I'll probably be kind of choosing more of the Purdue route um, if when I do it, because I'm definitely pretty confident that I'm going to do it outside of uh, after pharmacy school, after my fourth year and I get that degree, I'm probably going to continue on with that two-year certificate um, and get that going so I can be actually be a nuclear pharmacist because it's a real big passion of mine and I'm just so interested in it and I really hope that this can shed some more light on some people that are kind of like, well, a pharmacist just stands behind the counter, but there's so much more out there. Um, including this and this is just what's made me really want to continue and pursue my education and i appreciate your time and i th thank you guys for all watching and um, we'll see you later